my students to design an exhibit uh, and a hands-on take-home activity for a local science center called Imagination Station. And what they asked for is exhibits and hands-on activities that are related to space. And so that's what you're seeing around you at this particular moment. Each team had to design their own exhibit, their own hands-on, and the kids are helping them test them in the design process. So our project that we decided to do was, it's called Be an Astronaut. So it's things about the International Space Station, like what do astronauts eat in space? How do they go to the bathroom? What kind of experiments do they do? And then our take-home activity was, was a little the film canister bottle rockets. So you had a little bit of water and an Elka-Seltzer tablet and you put the cap on it. And then you flip it upside down and then the pressure builds up and it gets to shoot off. Um, when we designed our project, we were thinking more like elementary and middle school kids because um, that's most of the people who go to the Imagination Station, which was the client we were creating the product for. We chose this um, project from uh, 50 Solutions. We basically research online and find all the different things we can do and then we chose this one. It was pretty challenging and it took us a while to figure out how to make this project, how to you know, make the rocket shoot up and yeah, it turns out it goes pretty well. And when I was in like fifth or sixth grade, we did it in school one day. Um, I remember it being a lot of fun, um, so I thought that little kids would like it also and it'd be a great idea. In Engineering 131, one of our primary goals is for our students to learn design. And so at the end of the course, we have a one big design project. This is their big design project. And throughout the course, we've been working up towards this. We did modeling, we did smaller design pieces, but this is their large design project. They have a real client, uh, Philip Cardella, he's here, uh, along with some other stakeholders that go with Imagination Station. Uh, and so they are really testing out their prototypes today, although we've gone through each part of the design phase and they'll have a, a final project um, report and then they'll also give a video presentation of their exhibit. So it, it, it's all going to come together really great and they're going to be able to use this information uh, to learn something about whether or not their design is working before they have to make their final decisions. Exhibit development is extraordinarily expensive. Um, like almost inconceivably expensive. And so uh, the idea of having some ideas generated that could potentially be executed for a reasonable amount of money is uh, very appealing to us. And especially this year, they, they added the component of the students needing to have, the Purdue students needing to have a take-home component. Almost everything I've seen so far has been plausible for us to do on a Saturday sometime. So right there, we've got a lot of content that we can add. But uh, some of these exhibits, too, are very viable, and they've done a really good job of staying within a very tight budget constraint. I started at Purdue when I thought of engineering. I thought we would probably do things with, I guess, like CAD software and a lot of math. And 131 has been a lot more hands-on and really practical. This is actually going to maybe a client, and this, this final project has the potential to be implemented. So. You know, a lot of the gripes that people have with school or formal education is that what we're doing isn't significant or important, and this actually has weight to um, the investors that possibly could see Mr. Cardell's exhibit that was designed by us and invest into maybe putting this somewhere else. I would like to see some of this stuff actually get out into the community as fast as possible so that the students here can feel like they can take ownership of it, but also so, you know, these kids that came from Sunnyside and from the school down south can say, oh, I want to go check that out and show my mom and dad what I saw. So rolling out some of these take-home things immediately would be important. And then it's evaluating if there's an exhibit that we could get out by the end of the winter. It's really awesome and an honor to be working with such an awesome university and such awesome people. And Allison and Tamara are uh, amazing, passionate people. And uh, for me personally, I have two daughters and it's really neat for them to be able to look up to uh, women engineers and that's a very important value for my family so it's and my daughter was here my oldest uh, so it's uh, really neat to have that model and have all these awesome students here to model for these young kids to go this is something I can do this is something I can be so I'm excited